Hi guys, no offense here. Right, just gonna have a bit of sip my tea. As you can see by the title of the video, it's my thoughts on <sighs> titanium cook kit, a cook set I'm cooking. Yeah. This is my thoughts, this is no one else's. As you all know, I've got recently got given these. I have used these two. You've all seen them before. You've all seen the long handle titanium spoon. Maybe. Short folding spoon. Sorry about that, guys. You just want to go on the sofa. The short handle spoon, what came with this set. You've all seen that before. This is new. This is a 13 and a half inch skillet slash frying pan. This is brand new, this came in yesterday. Something else you haven't seen, but you might have seen it on the Facebook group page. And that is the titanium plate. I was using this as a frying pan at one point, but as you can see, it's kind of buckled a little bit. So, yeah, my thoughts. Before we start, before I um, begin, yeah. I want to say thank you to the person who got this for me because every single piece of here, I actually, apart from that one, I didn't pay for. So thank you to that person. I'm not saying it's bad stuff at all. I love the titanium stuff this one time. It's so stupidly lightweight. The whole of that stuff you've just seen then weighs 380 grams and I think it's 13.4 ounces. I am not 100% sure on that. So don't quote me on that. I will leave it in the bottom of this bit of the video. But yeah, right, let's start with the mug, shall we? I've only used this once. It's just a mug, it's just a plain old mug with a lid, basically. And yeah, it's good. And what I like about this one, the actual mug lid sticks inside. Actually, so you can, no wiggle wing. So, yeah, um, the only thing I find with this one, and I'm still trying to look for them, so if anybody can give me some advice where I can get them, I always buy myself. That's the reason why I just don't really use this that often. Um, this is 450 mils, this is this mug. It's 50 mils shorter than the mug I was, the, the stainless steel mug I was using before, and yeah, it's a lot lighter and a lot bit smaller hard to believe it's more compact and yeah it's good i like it i enjoy i'm enjoying using it i enjoy everything about it but the only problem is i keep buying my lips and so far you can see it's still still intact there's no dents there's no um, things like that on it so yeah the next one is the pot this is a 750 mil pot to be blunt on you, and I'm being honest, I wish it was bigger. I am looking on a bigger pot myself to buy myself, but wow, I didn't realize how expensive just little pot bigger, little pot bigger than this would be because I'm looking on a six, um, 1600 mil one, or about a, a litre and a just over a litre and a half. It is good, the lid comes off now because it's warped a little bit but at the end there don't care there's a little dent there and that's where i accidentally dropped it but it's not done any other damage just put that little dent where i dropped it because i was an idiot it's easy to clean i know it might not look it but it's easy to clean i do like the grime as long as the clean inside I don't care about the outside because the outside would just go into a pot, into a bag, and then that's it. It's not going to rest in my kit. I need to do it again then. I do like the bail handle. The bail handle does stay up. Oh, there goes the lid. The bail handle does some, most of the time stay up. It is good. It is strong. What I like about it, it's removable. So most of the time when I do go up into the woods, I do just drink out of this one. I don't actually. And nine times, take a bail and roll and just 
Just drink it like that. Just grab it like that and just drink it. The only thing I would honestly truthfully would like to see a different if they did do these differently. It's not put the bail in the same way as the hand the handle, if that makes any sense. Because you've got the handles here, then you've got the bail here. And Yeah. I can understand why it's there. I can understand that I get that because you can't drink if you're gonna these lips in the way. So yeah, so that's the pop. Good pop. Spoon, just a spoon. I've just used it to eat with. It's the same as any other spoon. I have cooked with it, I have stirred food with it, and it's quite good. So it's a spoon at the end of the day. To be honest with you, I've never used this one. This one lives in my wood kit, as you all know. My wood EDC pouch, as you all know. And so again, I've never used it, so I can't really say if it's good or not, but it's going to be. It's light as well, so why not? Right. Come to the final pan quickly. This here is a 350ml frying pan or skillet, whatever you want to call it. I think my friend was expecting it to be a little bit bigger than this. I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger than this, especially when she said she sent me a frying pan. I thought, yeah, that means it's going to be a nice and big one. But it's a good size for one person. If you're cooking for two, no chance, 90 million years, would you be able to cook for two people in this in this size frying pan? So let's look at it. Um, I've never used this one yet, so I can't really say much about it. So it, it's light. I like it. Um, so yeah. Right. One thing I do have to say, and that's this plate. When I got it, it was buckled. I've used it, it's buckled even more, as you can see. I'm not complaining, but it's still, you know, it's buckled, so yeah. It doesn't actually burn, I find. I've not actually burned anything while cooking this. I was using this at one point as a frying pan. Before I, as I said before I got that one, I was using this as a frying pan. And this is fantastic to cook sausages in, to cook bacon in, to cook eggs in. It's fantastic. I love, I, I like it. As you can see, it's black. It could do with a bit more cleanness. It's a, I can't even say that word, so I'm going to spell it to you guys. T-O-A-K-S, titanium. No idea which one brand that is, but it's a nice little thing. It does flex quite a bit. So I'm afraid that I'll put that in my rucksack and then I'll put something against it and it might buckle it, it might buckle it. That's what I'm more afraid of at the moment. But we'll soon see, we'll give it more tests, more go on it. Um, it is good, as I said, nothing stuck to it. I'm hoping when I use this one, nothing will stick to this one as well. I don't wash these in hot soapy water, by the way, guys. I wash these in lukewarm water. I use natural soap. Like the camping salt kitchens, kind of camping salt where you wash your face and the everything like that with. I use that because I just don't like to, I don't want to scratch these up. I sometimes do use a metal scour just to get most some of the black off, but I'm trying not to. I'm going to try and get away from that. So, if any of you guys can give me some recommendations on how what would you clean these with, please let me know. And same again, guys, this stuff is fantastic. I highly recommend going to Titanium Gear because why not? At the end of the day, it's Thing like that. I never thought I would say that. I never thought I would get this type of stuff. But I was off with my friend offered to buy it for me, and she got it for me, and I'm loving every single piece of it. So yeah. So thank you very much for watching. Sorry, this video was longer than what you were expecting. It's nearly coming up to nine and a half minutes. So thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.